The Tanakh or Old Testament of the Bible makes reference to various pharaohs. These include unnamed pharaohs in the accounts of the Israelite settlement in Egypt, the subsequent oppression of the Israelites, and during the period of the Exodus, as well as a number of later rulers, historical pharaohs, Tahaka, Necho and Apres, Hophra, 2 Kings chapter 19 verse 9 and Isaiah chapter 37 verse 9 mention the 25th dynasty pharaoh Tahaka as the opponent of Sennacherib of Assyria. He is called King of Ethiopia, and hence is not given the title Pharaoh which he bears in Egyptian documents. 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 29 SQQ, and 2 Chronicles chapter 35 verse 20 SQQ, mention the 26th dynasty Pharaoh Necho II, responsible for the death of Josiah, and Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 30 mentions his successor Apres or Hophra, conjectural pharaohs. Shishik and so. 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 40 and 2 Chronicles chapter 12 verse 2 SQQ. Tell of an invasion of Israel by Shishik, and a subsequent raid of Jerusalem and the Temple of Solomon. 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 4 says that King Hoshi sent letters to, so, king of Egypt. No pharaoh of this name is known, but it is possible that the biblical writer has confused the king with his city and means Tefnacht, who ruled from Sais, also written as so. At the time of Hoshi, Egypt had three dynasties ruling at the same time. 22nd at Tanis, 23rd at Leontopolis, and the 24th at Sais. Thus, the most logical candidate for so would be a sork on the 4th of Tanis. Unidentified pharaohs. Pharaohs in the book of Genesis The passages Genesis chapter 12 verses 10 to 20 narrate how Abraham moves to Egypt to escape a period of famine in Canaan. The unnamed pharaoh hears of the beauty of Abraham's wife Sarah and, being told she was Abraham's sister, summons her to become in his own wife. As a result of the marriage, Abraham rises in the pharaoh's favor and acquires livestock and servants. The last chapters of the book of Genesis tell how Joseph, son of Jacob, Israel, is first sold by his brothers into Egyptian slavery, but who is promoted by the unnamed pharaoh to vizier of Egypt and is given permission to bring his father, his brothers, and their families into Egypt to live in the land of Goshen. Eugene H. Merrill has suggested that Senusret II, the fourth pharaoh of the twelfth dynasty, may be the unnamed pharaoh mentioned in the biblical story of Joseph. Pharaohs in the book of Exodus The Bible tells how the Israelites are enslaved in Egypt and eventually escape under the leadership of Moses. At least one or two pharaohs are involved, the pharaoh of the oppression, who enslaves the Israelites, and the pharaoh of the Exodus, during whose rule the Israelites escape. The biblical story of the written Torah alone does not name either, nor does it give enough information to identify the period in which the events are set, with the result that there have been many suggestions as to which of Egypt's many rulers was involved. The oral tradition and rabbinic sources state that the first temple stood for 410 years and the cedar Olim Ribar place its construction in 832 BCE, and destruction in 422 BC, 165 years later than secular estimates. The cedar Olim Ribar determines the commencement of the Exodus to 2448 Am. This date has become traditional in Rabbinic Judaism. 1 Kings chapter 6 verse 1 states that the Exodus occurred 480 years before the construction of Solomon's Temple, which would imply a secular date of the Exodus c. 1477 BC, or Rabbinical date 2448 Am, both during Egypt's 18th dynasty the first at its beginning and the latter at its end. Furthermore, the 18th dynasty was the first of the new kingdom of Egypt, which followed the expulsion of the Hyksos and their last king Karmudi from Avaris in the northeastern region of the Nile Delta, marking the end of the second intermediate period. Candidates put forward for the role of pharaoh of the Exodus include 2nd Intermediate Period Didumos I, 
David Rolls 1995 A Test of Time revised Egyptian history by shortening the Third Intermediate Period of Egypt by almost 300 years. As a by result the synchronisms with the biblical narrative have changed, making the 13th dynasty Pharaoh de Dumos the first the Pharaoh of the Exodus. Rolls' theory has failed to find support among scholars in his field. New Kingdom of Egypt 18th Dynasty of Egypt Amos I Most ancient writers considered Amos I to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. Thutmose II, Alfred Edersheim proposes in his O Old Testament Bible History that Thutmose II is best qualified to be the pharaoh of Exodus based on the fact that he had a brief prosperous reign and then a sudden collapse with no son to succeed him. His widow Hatshepsut then became first regent then pharaoh in her own right. Edersheim states that Thutmose II is the only pharaoh's mummy to display cysts, possible evidence of plagues which spread through the Egyptian and Hittite empires at that time. Amenhotep II. Shea suggested that there were two Amenhotep II's. The first one died in the Sea of Reeds, after which his brother took the same title, better source needed. Akhenaten. Sigmund Freud in his book Moses and Monotheism argued that Moses had been an Atenist priest forced to leave Egypt with his followers after Akhenaten's death. 19th Dynasty of Egypt Ramesses II also known as Ramesses the Great, he is the most commonly imagined figure in popular culture being one of the most long-standing rulers at the height of Egyptian power. But there is no documentary or archaeological evidence that he chased any slaves fleeing Egypt. Ramesses II's late 13th century BCE Stella in Beth Shan mentions two conquered peoples who came to make obeisance to him in his city of Ramesses or Pi Ramesses but mentions neither the building of the city nor, as some have written, the Israelites or Hippiru. Additionally, the historical Pithom was built in the 7th century BCE, during the site period. Mer Nepta. Isaac Asimov in his Guide to the Bible makes a case for him to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. 20th Dynasty of Egypt Setnikta. Eagle P. Lipovsky in his book Early Israelites. Two Peoples, One History. Rediscovery of the Origins of Biblical Israel makes a case for him to be the pharaoh of the Exodus. ISBN 0615593333X. Bibliography. Bennett, Chris. Temporal Fugues. Journal of Ancient and Medieval Studies 13. Patterson, Richard D. The Divided Monarchy. Sources, Approaches, and Historicity. Ingrisanti, Michael A. Howard, David M. Giving the Sense. Understanding and Using O Old Testament Historical Texts. Kregel. ISBN 9780-8254-2892-0. Royal, David. A Test of Time. Arrow. ISBN 0-09-941656-5. Shea, W. H. Exodus. In Bromiley, Jeffrey W. The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, E.J. Edmonds. ISBN 9780-8028-3782-0.